Now here's where some of the principles that we worked on in the other mental math videos really come in handy. Um, we're going to use the strategy subtract 10 then add the extra ones to do the problem 62 minus 8. Uh, and if you're like me we were taught to do it this way and if you were good at mental math or ever you know did math in your head you'd picture this in your head and you would do something really very difficult I think and I know it's difficult for kids and that is to uh, realize that you can't take two away from eight um, and borrow from this six tens to get five tens make this twelve ones take twelve ones minus eight to get four and um, remember that this six is now a five um, and put 54. That all in your head is a very, very difficult thing. This can look really complicated, um, but I think what you'll find is that this is a, a lot more conceptually friendly uh, strategy to use when you're doing math in your head. So let's take a look at what we're doing. Uh, let's ignore this for just a second and concentrate just on our manipulatives down here. I've built the number 62, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tens, and 2 ones, and I'm going to take away 8. And the most obvious thing here is that uh, I don't have eight ones to take away. I've got all these ones that are hidden in my tens. I could borrow from it like I would over here. Uh, but this strategy says, well, take away in, you know, again, we say tens are easy. Tens are easy. So use them whenever we can. Uh, and we're going to say, instead of taking away uh, eight, what I'm going to do, because it's so easy, is just take away a ten. So I started with 62, and now I've got 52. But I wasn't supposed to take away 10. I was only supposed to take away 8. So what I have to do is add two more back in. I'm going to kind of untake away those and add those two down here at the bottom. So really what I did was, if I have a record of what I uh, did, was I said 62 take away 10 is 52. But I wasn't supposed to take away 52. I was only supposed to take away 8, and I took away 10. That means I need to add 2 back in, so 52 plus 2 is 54. And if we were count up all these, I'd have one, two, three, four, five tens, one, two, and then three, four in my ones here, 54. All right, so that's a little bit about this strategy. Um, when we see it like this, again, it can be really confusing. Um, but if you look at it just with the place value chips, uh, excuse me, the base 10 blocks, um, it can make a lot of sense. All right, let's try this one. 34 take away 7. So I've built the number 34 up here. I've got a little hint down in the corner for you here that we're not breaking up 34 into 30 and 4 anymore, as in some of our other strategies. But we're going to make a number bond with 10. So think for a second about how you might do this. Um, remember we're doing the take away the tens and then um, kind of adjust or add them back in strategy. So uh, really what we're going to do is say uh, instead of taking away seven, I'm going to take away uh, ten. So I'm going to break ten up into seven and three and I'm just going to take away the entire ten. So let me do that with my marker right now. Thirty-four what just happened? Well, 34 now became 24 because I started with 34, I took away 10, and now I've got 24. But I wasn't supposed to take away 10, I was only supposed to take away 7, so I gotta add 3 back in. So 24 plus the 3 I wasn't supposed to take away, and some of the language we use with kids here is, I took too many away so I have to give some back, or um, how many was I supposed to take? Um, you know, and give back if you took too much. Uh, remember, subtraction is an action. It's actually taking something away. So we, if we took too much, we've got to add it back in to make it fair or to even it up or to make it correct. Any of this is appropriate language to use with the kids. So when we add those three back in to make it right to, uh, because we took too many, we're going to get 27.